I don't normally talk about my personal views, but I've been seeing videos all over my feed today, and I've been seeing so many things from so many creators that I feel that I just can't ignore it. So let's get into it. We're going to be addressing trans white women specifically. And to be clear, not all trans white women, just some of you. Okay, just some of you. Keep that in mind. There's a trend going around, especially within the newer generation, and I'm just going to call it what it is. It's your misogyny. It's your learned, ingrained misogyny that you brought over with you when you were still associating as a male and you forgot to leave it outside before you walked in the woman's front door. Some quick examples of misogyny are, you're a birthing person, not a mother. It's chest feeding, not breastfeeding. Male and female people and intersex people all have breast tissue. Males can get breast cancer. All breast tissue is breast tissue. There, There is no difference. It's all breast tissue. Trans women get periods too. No, you don't. A period is literally the shedding of the uterine lining. What you have are the effects of hormones, which everyone of all sexes gets all throughout the year, I'm afraid to tell you. To have a period literally requires ovulation and menses, which you cannot do without a uterus. And many biological women don't get it anyway, which is fine, but the literal term of period requires those things. And then biological women tell you you're wrong because you would have no clue what a biological woman goes through at all. And then you try to correct them, which is literally mansplaining. Telling a biological woman that they don't know more about themselves than you do, someone who's not a biological woman, is literally market-grade misogyny. Coming into the woman's space that you were invited into with open arms, by the way, and then creating new rules and new labels without consulting any biological woman in that process, and then demanding we use it even though we told you we don't want to respectfully, is literally just market-grade misogyny. This lady says if you don't like being called cis, you're a white supremacist. Need I say how dangerous it is to dilute the definition of terms to fit whatever kind of social marketing you're doing at the time? This person, all over my feet today, saying ridiculous things. Biological sex is absolutely real. Just because you have a certain sex doesn't mean you can identify a different way. It is part of you. It is important to you. Literally affects everything from bone structure to organ placement, symptoms of diseases, how you respond to medication, allergies you might develop, all of it. You cannot come into the woman's space and then disrespect biological women who created that space. The trans community has done so much for a biological women. We're trying to help them and save them. Did we ask you to do that? It's the classic damsel in distress needs saving, which is just, again, more misogyny that you learned along the way that you forgot to unlearn before you walked in our front door. You say you're a woman, so act like it. Stand in solidarity with us and leave all the misogynistic bullshit out the front door. Become more comfortable in your own social identity so that you don't have to erase ours in order to make yourself feel comfortable on the same couch.